Yes, I know, I know, I know. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a while. But, as you guys know, Skyblock is becoming a big game and Dungeons is going to come out. So, for Dungeons, there's five different classes, as you guys probably know. There's the Archer, the Healer, the Berserker, the Tank, and the Mage. And for Dungeons, I'm going to be playing the Tank class. So for Tank, there's mainly a couple things you're going to need that are expensive, and there's some that aren't expensive. So let's get right into it. Alright, so as you guys could see, I have full perfect armor. So, perfect armor has a lot of defense, like 400 on each piece. And then you got the Reaper Mask. The reason why you're wearing the Reaper Mask is because it's two times healing from all sources, two times zombies from Reaper Scythe, and Reaper Scythe is a weapon that tank has to use. As you can see, I have one right here. Just kidding, that's a hoe. But I'm probably going to be buying some soon. But the reason why a scythe is good, even though they nerfed lifesteal, while you're getting like, while all the mobs are going for you, your zombies are going to be attacking the mobs while you just stand there and tank damage, worrying about healing yourself rather than swinging a sword. And that's getting to my second point. Since you have two times healing on your reaper mask which could be turned into a dungeon item to make it even better you have to have an ornate sword the reason why is because as you can see it's heal 144 for yourself and heal 5% to other players for 48 so basically if you double that you're gonna be healing 288 so as you let me just do a test real quick go up once I fall down and heal myself I just healed 273 health now with the reaper mask I'm able to do that and if I go over here with 1683 defense you have <coughs> With 1,683 defense, you're going to have 24k effective EHP and 94.4% damage reduction. Now, the reason why damage reduction is such a good thing is if I go over here into the goals, I'll be able to tank each hit that I get hit by. So, if this hits me, I'm legit healing as fast as I'm getting damage. It just doesn't do anything. And if I get low, I can just heal myself. Now, tank, as you can see, does very bad damage. Like 44k each hit. And this is with a max Midas, as you can see. So, I know tank isn't supposed to do damage. But the best thing is probably to get a lot of talismans and add forceful to them. If you wanted to, you could go the full tank route and get uh, a reforge that has defense and health on each of your talismans, which would probably bring your defense up to 2k and health up to 1.5, which is going to be OP. But the reason why I have 1.6 right now is because I have a turtle pet. Now the turtle pet gives 16.6% defense out of my defense. So saying since this gives me a lot of defense, if I take my turtle pet off, I'm obviously I went down 300 defense. If I add it on, it goes up. Now with the dungeon ability for a tank being 25% more defense, that's basically stacking. So I'm probably going to have at least 2.5k defense, which is a lot. And, if you guys know, in dungeons there's certain types of armor. Now let me get into the armor that's best for you. For tank, obviously you're going to be using heavy armor. Because heavy armor gives the same amount of defense as this. 
and it's a dungeon item so you could turn it into a five star so basically i'll be able to get 300 health and 500 defense on each piece probably and then i'll be able to upgrade my mass to keep that two times healing because the set bonus for heavy isn't really that important it just gives you speed which is why you have this thing a rogue sword because if you're a tank and you're able to run at this speed with anti kb from the turtle you're basically fine now how you get heavy armor is on each floor you kill mobs and you have a chance for it to drop it and there is two types of heavy armor there is the rare kind and the epic kind the epic kind is probably what you want to get because you could reforge it and then you could upgrade it which means you could get like 20 strength on each piece of heavy armor and for tank you're able to do damage and you're able to do like you're able to tank and you also get a lot of mana which mana is important for the reaper scythe and it's also important for using ornite and rogue sword and the aspect of the end to get out of places now i know you guys knew most of this but if you need another tank pet this is it's it's okay as a tank pet but it's not really good good it's more of a hybrid between tank and berserker the reason why is because yeti as you can see 100% of your strength as defense right so if I switch over to my superior and I have my sword out this is how much strength I have 736 without a turtle pet I'm going to have 900 defense basically and if you add 700 to 800 that's 1.5k defense with 1.7k health and a lot more damage because look I do 66k with this and I do uh, that not a crit <laughs> and I do 44k with this so it's like a 20k difference right but you gotta remember look if I wear my turtle pet and I have 1.6k health and 1.3 defense I'm basically getting more out of superior and a yeti pet as this but the reason why is because yeti pet is expensive and the second reason why is later in dungeons for tank you're gonna get more defense as you go you're gonna not have as much strength as defense so later on you're going to the defense is just gonna get higher and higher like right now yeti is the best but turtle pet's gonna get better as you upgrade your tank and your classes because your strength's not gonna go as high as your defense is gonna go if you're playing tank so that's the end of this video if you guys learned anything uh i hope it helped yeah but tank is one of the top things to play as dungeons because you're basically not gonna die and if you do die you obviously like it's 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 gonna take a while for you to die you can't die but later in dungeons you might die a couple of times but you're gonna have better armor so yeah that's about it thank you guys for watching bye